Thanks for joining us here on Behind the Spotlight. I'm Crystal Lampett, and I've got a band that's really just for all you 90s kids out there. If you loved Soul Asylum, Green Day, you're going to love Deco Auto. Thank you guys so much for being here. And we're going to kick it off with... Uh, One of a Million. This is the first song on our most recent CD. Fantastic. One of a Million by Deco Auto. Take it away. One of a Million by Deco Auto. So I want to know who wrote One of a Million? What's it about? Uh, that'd be me? Yeah. Uh, the song is um, like the first lines of the song Feel special, but for real, I could be, or there could be a million more like me. Um, hmm. It's about like, you know, uh, humility and failure and being humble about your failure or just being. A failure. Yeah. <laughs> we were so just talking about it the other day. One yeah. of a Million was a song before we were even a band. Steve said, come over to my house and we'll play guitar and stuff. And yeah. I'd come over and we'd play music and he'd make like homemade nachos and salsa. And it was a pretty good deal. I was like, definitely <laughs> like, let's start so a So if I come over and play music with you, I get homemade nachos. Yeah, that's and, pretty that's, good. and that's how Deco Auto formed. The nachos <laughs> is just the start. For dessert, Tracy makes a killer tofu chocolate pie. Is that for real? Yeah, you really, really make that? Yeah. Tofu chocolate pie. So it's healthy. Yeah, really... it's healthy. But there's also alcohol in it, isn't there? Yes. Yeah. Well, that helps. Always. Mm -hmm. So tell us just quickly about the name Deco Auto. Who came up with it and what does it mean? Um, 
the idea was just to have like a name that I don't know, sounded like what we sound like. Um, you know, when you think of a Deco Auto, you think of like one of those sleek cars from the 1920s mm -hmm. or 30s, you know? Mm -hmm. And that's us, we, we motor along, we, mm -hmm. are, we have clean lines, uh, we're vintage. I was gonna say, like, <laughs> there's just a touch of vintage, because when I listen to your music, there is, I do have a small sense of nostalgia. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Like it's 90s. Right. You know, just kind of. And, and we ourselves are also vintage. Yeah. <laughs> Some more You're so than vintage. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we'll have more with Deco Auto coming up after this. Don't go away. No, vintage. <laughs> Welcome back. We're here with Deco Auto, and I, I'm sort of understanding that you were in Colorado. Tracy, you were in what? Pittsburgh. Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. And when did you join the I band? I joined what three, four years ago. Mm -hmm. And are you Kansas City native then? I'm from Wichita originally, from Wichita. but I've been in Kansas City long enough that it doesn't really count. Feels like yeah. <laughs> yeah. So what brought you all together then? Kind of like what Tracy was saying. Um, we were. Tracy and I knew each other, we were buddies, and we would, you know, we knew lots of people who played music, and we would get together for parties, and eat, and cook, and cook, and eat, and then music sort of came, like. I oh, love that you were actually getting together for the food. This right. sounds like my life. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. And then music sort of grew out of that. I mean, did you intend for that to happen, or was it literally like, well, we just hung out a lot and ate, and then we were like, also, we play instruments. Pretty much, yeah. yeah. It was hard getting <laughs> up off the couch, but love you know. Story. Yeah. <laughs> and They're, Pat did recording for us. Right? Yeah, the, originally they had a, a different drummer, and mm -hmm. I've got a studio, and they recorded. Uh, actually, we've recorded everything in my house, but uh, but uh, when uh, when Michelle left the band, the Tracy said, drummer, "Hey, yeah. you know any uh -huh. drummers?" And I said. Well, I'm, <laughs> I'm, I'm in all these bands and I haven't played in two months, so yeah, let's do this. Yeah. <laughs> which, was, which was amazing for us because we've known Pat's music for a long time because he's in the Rainmakers. Uh -huh. And the Rainmakers are just, you know, I was going to see the Rainmakers concerts when I was in high school. Ah, Sorry, I didn't mean so to cool. say. So right. It's that vintage bit. <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> but that's so amazing. So mm -hmm. did that, I mean, did that kind of inspire you too in oh, your yeah, sound? Oh, yeah, absolutely. I mean, you were a fan. Yeah. How, how cool much. is it to be working with each other now? That, that is really, truly awesome. I mean, like, I think I first saw the Rainmakers play a, an arena show in 1987. And um, I, were you, who were you opening for back then in 87? Kansas? Opening for Kansas. Oh. So he is really oh, humble awesome. about his stuff, but yeah. then when you ask him, so what are you up to, Pat? Going to Norway, playing with Alice Cooper and Billy Idol, no biggie. Oh, no big <laughs> deal. That's amazing. So how do you balance it all? I mean, you must have, you know, you've got so many other responsibilities. Yeah, I've been in a lot of bands, but, <laughs> you know, I, I, Just make don't, the I don't work. Yeah. <laughs> so, well, it's a um, good time, yeah. So, yeah. Um, yeah, it's just, you know, it's, it's freelancing, you know. Yeah. You, just, you just cobble a bunch of things together till it works, yeah. hopefully. Like, just kind of make the rounds. But yeah. you guys have day jobs. Yes. So I'm a fifth grade teacher. That is awesome. Where do you teach at? I teach at Our Lady of Hope um, Catholic School in Westport, represent OLH. Hey. Uh, and um, so that keeps me, you know, very busy. But I'm on summer break right now. So. Oh my goodness, yeah. Yeah. That I, must be nice. I deserve it. Couple well, of months. I don't know if I deserve it, but I, I, <laughs> I enjoy it. <laughs> you appreciate it. And yes. you, horticulture. Yeah, yeah. yeah I so, work for Powell Gardens and I work at the Kaufman Memorial Garden. I love Powell Gardens. Gardens. Yep. Oh but goodness. she also writes, yeah. uh, like, Oh yeah, Gardening, write little articles for the card. Kansas City Gardener. No so yeah. yeah, sometimes. So that little free magazine that you pick up at the grocery store and stuff. So I'll write little articles in there. Have you stuff. always had a green thumb? Uh, yeah, yeah. I'll say yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes. No, is this no, the correct no, yes. answer? Is this Jeopardy? Telling the truth or not? But yes. <laughs> what what brought what what made you interested in? Oh, just uh, just gardening with the family and. Oh. Everything I was, like I was thinking, Nothing I was like, too exciting. did you grow up on a farm? You know, I was kind of yeah, wondering. Like, so where I was that... just a city girl, and I like to eat. So <laughs> <laughs> Everything keeps and plants coming are back food. to food. Back so to food, tell yeah. us about the, uh, the test kitchen going on here. What are you guys working on now? Okay. <laughs> 
See, actually, we thought that we were only coming here for a cooking show. We didn't know we were supposed to be playing music. Right. So. It's convenient <laughs> that you brought all of your equipment. Though. Yeah, <laughs> apologize for being unprepared. But, you know, uh, roasted jalapeno salsa, that's, that's like my, my main thing, you know. That's your jam. Yeah, the, the fresh jalapenos, the fresh tomatoes. Summertime, the tomatoes get sweet, balances out the heat from the jalapenos. Mm. Oh. Come on. Are you, a, are you an heirloom tomato guy? Do you, you grow them yourself? I don't grow them. You know, okay. I should, but um, yeah, Tracy, should. Tracy grows tomatillos some Yeah, I just planted sometimes. the seeds yesterday. Yeah. <laughs> so. And she brought over, like, a, like last year, just all huge bunch of tomatillos. Yeah. She's like, here, do something with this. And I was like, yes. You're like, yay. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I've been in purple ones this year. So oh, those are good. so good. Well, it, I, I see a theme here, you know, because obviously music brings people together. Food brings people together. Yes. So is it just, you know, I guess, what's your, your passion in life? What, where do you want to go You know, five years from now? Where do you kind of see yourselves as a band, as individuals? Um, geez, I don't know. I mean, like. You're like, no one's ever asked me that before. Yeah, I gotta figure out my life. It's kind of funny. Um, <laughs> there's nothing wrong with treading water. Yeah. I'll just say that. Okay. You know, just if, if you're happy doing what you're doing, yeah. then. There's, just you do know, that. That's just fine. Mm -hmm. you know? And and you feel that you you guys have found the thing that makes you happy. Mm -hmm. Because I well I think this is the challenge is that a lot of people don't know what makes them happy. Mm -hmm. so they're kind of figuring it out. There's a lot of uncertainty. Yeah. But if you're in a good place, you're like I'm pretty cool hanging here. Oh yeah. Well I mean like not everybody can be an astronaut. You know. <laughs> Unfortunately. Um, and so. It's kind of funny that a lot of people are like, oh, just do whatever you love, do whatever you love. And you're like, well, you got to pay the bills too. So yeah. pay the bills, then do what you love, you know? Yeah, yeah. That's you know, a if, very if practical you, advice. Yeah. And I mean, like, if, if it was just like, oh, I'm just going to do music all the time, well, that kind of dignity takes a lot of money. I don't have that kind of money. So, but mm -hmm. um, that would be cool. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Pat, I mean, what do you think? You, you're, you've been doing music full time for, for a long time. Yeah. yeah. How did that well, work out for you? Well, great. I, I mean, mean, obviously, you know, really well. <laughs> the how, how did you get there? Got to do a lot of really cool things, you know. And we were on a major label. Uh, we at this point we've got ten albums out or something like that. Three of them international, and you know we did the whole you know rock star thing, touring all the time, a lot of European and other uh, tours and things. And you know it's just not all it's cracked up to be. It's great mm -hmm. in a lot of ways, mm -hmm. but um, there's a lot of downsides to it. You know, I was gone about 180 nights a year for five wow. years, yeah. and it makes it hard to sustain relationships. Of it, course. Um, you know, we were just below the point where you actually make money at it. <laughs> you yeah. know, so uh, uh, yeah. I mean, so there's absolutely nothing wrong with playing local gigs with people you like. The yeah. songs you like. And having that sort of be your Yeah, outlet. that's, that's yeah. cool, you know. Yeah, it sounds like it. Yeah. Okay, so I want to get to your four favorites before we run out of time. Um, I'm going to go down the line. Favorite book? Okay, I'm a fifth grade teacher, so if I don't say Diary of a Wimpy Kid, I don't know oh. what I'm going to Has <laughs> that actually, movie come out? Did you see that? There's been like movie? six of those movies okay. come out. Have I you actually seen read it? Mm, or is it just your favorite book? Because I, I've, I've read it sort of. I mean, <laughs> Um, but like, um, actually, I'm, I'm more of a, a science fiction guy. You like science fiction? Yeah, I'm, I'm really okay. into science fiction. Stephen and I, I used to love Stephen yeah. King, but um, John Christopher, the Tripod series. Um, and honestly, I read a lot of comic books. Nice. So, um, You're you a Comic-Con guy. Yeah, really I'm nice. a Comic-Con guy. So. <laughs> Tracy, what about you? I can't pick a favorite book, but I have a favorite author, science okay. fiction and Kurt yeah. Vonnegut. Anything Kurt by Vonnegut. Kurt Vonnegut. Nice. I'll read it a hundred times yeah, in a row. Dark. Yeah. yeah. How about you? You know, I've got, it's, you talk about music or books, I mean, there's just hundreds of favorites. So, yeah. I don't know. I'll say the Lord of the Rings trilogy because okay. I've read mm. it like six times. Yeah. Well, <laughs> nice. that makes, no, that's a, mm. that's a, a good way yeah. to weed out. Yeah. <laughs> you know, well, what do I watch or what do I listen to all the time or read all the time? Favorite movie? Star Wars. Star Wars? Star Wars, the original, not the special edition. Okay. Star Wars. You're old school. Yeah. All right. How about? Anything by John Waters. Nice. Anything. Okay. Oh, God. Movie, Pat? I'm just coming up blank. You like Crybaby? Uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> oh, I was asking you. Crybaby? I Baby? love it. Yeah, it's such a good movie. Uh, the most recent movie I thought I really liked a lot, I wouldn't say it's probably my favorite, but the only one I can think of at the moment mm -hmm. is uh, 
uh, called Headhunters. It's a thriller written by Jo Nisba, a Norwegian author. I have a lot of Norwegian friends. Where did you friends. watch this? So uh, it's a it murder out? mystery kind of stuff. Oh. In this case, it's a thriller. It's about a guy that people are trying to kill. <laughs> Sounds intense. Yeah. Okay, Sometimes. so what was it called again? That's called Headhunters. Headhunters. All right, I'm going to check that out. Yeah. Okay, really quickly, artist, favorite artist, if you had to pick one. Music artist. Oh, music, music artist. Music artist. Okay. Yeah, hold up. Yeah, let me clarify. Okay, uh, Elvis. 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 I love Elvis. Oh he's, he's Elvis. Hi, Mom. Love Elvis. <laughs> if you say Elvis, I'll say Chuck Berry. Chuck what, Berry. Chuck, uh, Chuck uh, XTC, mm. English band from the... 80s to the oh, nobody right. knows them. Nobody's heard You're them. You're making me feel I like so obscure not stuff. cultured we, we, right now. We toured last year and we listened to XTC all the way to Chicago and all the way back. Well, who do they sound like? Like, who can I? The Beatles, I sort of. A little oh, okay. bit. My, well, then, my piano well, then I'm teacher down. told me that XTC took the harmony ideas of the Beatles and developed them to the ultimate extent. You could say something like that. Yeah. They're very English. Okay, well, then I want very to check English. that out then mm, for sure. And then, music. last but not least, your favorite story. As a band, experience something cool that's happened, something crazy that's happened. I mean, you've got you've got some stories. I know you got some stories. In this band or in a different band? In this band. Oh, okay. In this, in this band. band. Okay, okay, okay. In this band. Uh, let's see. All right. So I'll go with going to Chicago. We played a festival out there called the International Pop Overthrow, and then later on that night we had a second show, and it was a show at a place called. Moe's Tavern. It was supposed to be like Moe's from The Simpsons. And nice. uh, it, no, not <laughs> nice. You would think it, it started out nice. So how did this develop? The part I liked about yeah. that night was the other band we played with was from Canada and Chicago's hockey team were in the playoffs. So like the Canadians were really excited <laughs> and the show couldn't start until the hockey game was over. Right. And then by the time yeah. the, hockey, the hockey game got over, uh, everybody left. And got dark. so we played yeah. to the owner and his dog. Oh no! <laughs> At like 1.30 in the morning. And you the know? dog was supposed to be like Santa's little helper on The Simpsons, but the dog. Was it? No. Was it? No. Because Santa's little helper's a greyhound, I think. It was. So, oh, okay. I felt yeah. bad for that dog. Okay. Yeah. They tried. So how was Moe's? It wasn't, yeah. it didn't Don't live go. up to. Don't go to Moe's. <laughs> Don't go, Don't go to, to Moe's <laughs> in Chicago. <laughs> I wonder if they're still around. How long ago was it? It's been around a long time. It's, it's more of a blues bar, though. It wasn't a terribly good fit. Yeah. Not a great. Yeah. Well, that's kind of a Love bummer. Chicago. Love Chicago. The food. Chicago was awesome. Deep dish oh, pizza. Yeah. I kind of think you the, just love the food. hot dogs. I feel like, like we should have oh kept this whole God. interview about it. I feel like we did eat a lot. <laughs> we ate a lot. All right. We'll be right back with more Deco Auto after this. Don't go anywhere, guys. Favorite food. I should have had that as one of your questions. Can you guys? Welcome back to Behind the Spotlight. We've got one more song for you from Deco Auto, but first I want you to tell me all about your latest album, which I'm holding here in my hand. Well, if you notice right there, right where your fingers are, that's um, Tracy's foot. Ooh. And right where your other fingers are, those are my glasses on the ground there. <laughs> right before she here? smashed them into a thousand ah. million pieces. And that's the curse? That's the curse. That's the curse of Deco Auto. We can't keep glasses. And where can people find? Bandcamp. Bandcamp.com, Bandcamp. yes, right. absolutely. Check them out. We've got one more song, and it is called The Mercy Kind by Deco Auto. Thank you.
Good grace.